I am talking to Dr. David Flinchbaugh, who has some special words for us today about the photon engine. I'm recording our chat for a documentary that I'm working on about this incredible world breakthrough technology. First, let me say that Dr. David Flinchbaugh is the most qualified scientist in the world for documenting this technology. He worked with the technology for years when most people have never even heard of it. He also has stellar academic credentials in this and related fields. So when Dr. Flinchbaugh says that the breakthrough is real, that is among the highest independent lab documentations available. He developed lasers. He is a renowned nuclear physicist and engineer. He has worked with quite a few of the military branches like DARPA and the NASA, and most of the huge corporations as well as working with the White House. So Dr. Flinchbaugh, from a scientific standpoint, do you believe that Dave Parker, the inventor of the photon engine, has solved the problems that have been holding this technology back? Yes, I do. And I encourage everyone hoping for a better world to get behind this work. Um, Dr. Flinchbaugh, did you work with the original group who attempted to demonstrate this technology? Did you witness a demonstration at that time? Yes, absolutely. It was quite remarkable. Um, however, it needed a lot of work done and, and still needs work on. And Dave Parker is, he has not only added many improvements uh, to the original effort, uh, but he has uh, served to uh, really redefine the whole system and the technology to make it more viable for today's needs. In the early 90s, other team members and I built a rocket motor in a NASA building using part of the same process to help two graduate students whose theses were about this technology. And uh, so we made parts. We actually produced a, a rocket scale rocket to, to prove the concept. And Dave Parker uh, has uh, works on this uh, concept of renewable power and judicial use of light photons and has assembled a new team of professionals from members of this older group so that uh, we have probably the best, uh, uh, most knowledgeable people you know, of this whole technology and have the best chance of making this a uh, viable and uh, uh, usable technology for today's world. Uh, the many technologies that we have now did not exist in those early days. And uh, we have uh, solid state uh, electronic components. We have uh, new manufacturing processes, uh, all of which give us a better handle at controlling the emission problems that, that, were, that needed to be solved and uh, that Dave Parker has recognized is where we need to place our expertise and our new knowledge to make this into uh, a viable uh, project uh, producing energy and power for today's world. Uh, in the older days, no one has had found a solution for many of these problems. Uh, his models now, today, have uh, no intake and no exhaust introducing. It, it, this is the first closed loop process. So, uh, from the standpoint of, of people uh, worrying about the um, the environment and effects on the environment, we have solved that problem and Dave is putting a massive effort 
effort into making this a reality which no one will have any uh, problems working with. It's um, the photon energy harnesses power from a chemical chain reaction which is not polluting and it, uh, it does not uh, hurt our environment. It does not have the disadvantages that earlier thought were thought to be there. How would you feel about the photon engine replacing much of nuclear, coal, and natural gas in power generation? Well, I think it has very definitely has that capability. And that's why it's a, it should be a national priority right now. Uh, actually, an international priority because uh, there are some as as our technology has decreased uh, in meaning and scope, uh, we need power and energy to make it happen. This is an answer, a good answer. And since I have a great deal of familiarity with with uh, nuclear and atomic energy uh, as a nuclear physicist. Uh, I'm very much aware of the processes involved in this new non-nuclear chain reaction and uh, the fact that it is non-polluting takes away a lot of concerns that people earlier expressed uh, simply because they didn't know enough about it. We are now providing the knowledge that uh, it is a safe and controllable means for replacing much of coal and natural gas and nuclear uh, energy production plants. Uh, once uh, I heard the Department of Homeland Security uh, published a paper stating that America would always be vulnerable to terrorists until we become more decentralized with our power production. And uh, the photon engine appears to, by far to be on top of the world for improving this need for more energy, more power, and advancing in science and technology and our, our national security. Wonderful. And there we have it. Dr. David Flinchbaugh, renowned physicist and nuclear nuclear physicist and scientist. Thank you very much, Dr. Flinchbaugh. We appreciate That's my pleasure. Your expertise and your dedication to this project. Thank you very much. It's important to the world. The time is now. <laughs>